Hey folks, so I'm going to show you how to set up this crab pot. This crab pot is the Promar TR530. And if you are interested, links will be in the description. And for those of you who are a long time subscriber, you've seen me use this pot for many, many trips. And this blue pot is pretty much my signature. I've caught a lot of big crabs here on the Oregon coast with it. And this is the one pot that I recommend if you want to invest in uh, crab gear for catching crabs on the Oregon coast. It's well made, it's very sturdy, and it just works really well because one of the cool thing about this pot is that you can let it soak in the water for a very long time. It has kind of a low profile, so it reduces drag a little bit. And the pot does have three doors. You got one door there, two, and door number three right there. It has this swing gate right here, and it swings inward. So once crab get in, they can't get out. It has a nice ramp for the crabs to crawl into. It has two rubber harness attached to a rock cord. And it has a clip right here to keep um, this door locked so it doesn't open. Now this harness doesn't come with it, so you have to buy it separately. And I believe now when you buy the pot, they have a set where you can buy the pot, the rope, and the harness, and the buoy all together. But when I first bought it many years ago, it just came with a pot. I got a good deal when I bought it. I, I knew that when I first used this pot, it worked so well and I, I knew it's going to be the pot I want to use for a very long time. So I kind of loaded up with it. And when I bought it years ago, it was as cheap as I believe $63. And I don't know if you can still buy at that price, but the price has gone up. It does have a built-in bait box right here. So that's where your bait goes. And to keep the bait door and the trap door here shut, you just clip this onto that bait box over there. Okay, just like that. So now this door is shut and the bait door is shut as well. This trap is only for Dungeness crab. I don't think you can use it for blue crabs because the mesh are kind of big. They're probably about three inches and maybe four inches in the diameter here. So the blue crab will escape if you use it. So definitely very, very good for Dungeness. Now for this style pot, it's a little bit light for the ocean. If you do use it for the ocean, I recommend you put in at least about five pounds of extra weight so that way it doesn't drift. The pot won't drift once you set it down. The problem is you have such a long rope to the top, to the buoy, and that rope causes a lot of drag, so it will drag this pot. So be sure if you use it in the ocean, weight it really, really well. And I've also used this crab pot on crab docks, crabbing from a pier. So for pier crabbing, this is definitely one of uh, one of the best traps out there. For the ropes, I have these, these are lead core ropes, and I got these decoy clips. The decoy clips just clips onto the harness, just like that, okay? Now, as for the ropes, this is a 50-foot rope, and if you're just bay crabbing, I would just say cut that in half because for most bays in Oregon, it's pretty shallow. Sure, you get some places in the 25 to 30 foot range, but that might be a little deep because most of the time when I'm crabbing, it's usually between 10 and 20 feet. So this is a 50 foot rope. So what I plan to do is just cut this rope in half so it's just easier to manage. So where do I set this pot? Usually I like to set it in uh, kind of a shallow water. I don't like to set it in the middle of the channel because that current is way too fast. And also don't set it in the middle of the channel because that's where a lot of boat traffic is. And here is a door. It opens like that so you can get out your crap. The only thing I wish they would do is maybe have this door open bigger. This opens only about 40%. Okay, so it it'd be nice if it if the door hinge was over here somewhere so that way when you open it it's at least three quarters because from my experience the doors open and the crabs all rush that way and it's kind of annoying to reach under there and try to grab them because you know being crabs they just grab onto the pot and you're just trying to wiggle wiggle them out you know sometimes you rip their claws so you could tip the pot uh, and then just kind of shake them but then again they fall down and that that tends to break their shell also, this pot does not collapse. It is what you see right there. 
It's different from the square black ones where they collapse and you can store them easier. But these ones, they do not collapse. What's up everyone, PK here. Welcome to another episode. So we are here on the Oregon coast once again and I got Dan, Dan Kaplan and Ton with me. And today we're gonna do a little crabbing. So we just got here, the sun's not up yet, bright and early. So we're gonna take some time to set up and get out in the water. Enjoy the show. That other uh, blue one, if you want to grab it, just stuff some chicken in there. Okay. Actually, you can stuff it in here. That's a special one. That's what you feel. Folks, if you want to catch some crab and you don't have a boat, you can go to Walport and they do have boat rentals. You can rent um, by the hour. The place is called Dock of the Bay Marina, or you can also uh, Google for Port of Alsea. And just so you guys can maximize your time, the best time to go to rent the crab boat is during the fall, starting in September. And that crabbing should be good until December. Just be sure to have your shellfish license and be sure to check the ODFW shellfish biotoxin page to make sure shellfish is open. And we got a lot of bait here still. Let that one go. So plenty of bait here left for the Promar. So I'm gonna set her right back down. Where we at, where we at, where we at? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, you're doing good. Right there, neutral. Bon voyage. We're gonna put more chicken. I'm gonna drop that one last. Um, let me take the steering. Okay. I want down here. So we're still in eight, nine feet okay. of water. So Wait, where's our buoy that we just dropped? Oh, it's right here. Straight down. All right on your nose. Okay, so we're out of the way. Yeah. Okay, hold on tight. Here we go. Yeah, hold on tight. Hold on tight. Okay. Let me take care of this one. Okay. We don't need to rebait this one. It's got plenty of bait. And back she goes. We should do really good on the next pole. You know what? Given how well these work, next year I'm gonna I'm gonna be hitting shad hard. Get a couple hundred. I'm gonna get a couple hundred. <laughs> My freezer broke. It's why Freezer I didn't... will have it. Yeah. So you can bet I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it hard, man. Morning. Okay, so we are good. We'll anchor up here somewhere. Let's anchor. Quinn, go go back, Tan. Okay. Actually, wait, 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 wait. What are you thinking? Go between these two boys and go that way. Okay. Okay, yeah. go ahead and uh, put it neutral. Yeah. One, two, okay, three, four. Okay, I see it now. Okay, so the place we want to go to is right over here, actually. This deep is the hot the spot. No, what happened is the channel's right here. It's deep. Yeah, I, I guess. So in about 10 minutes, we'll pick up yeah. and we're going to move over there. Sounds good. Unless we do phenomenal here. Yeah. I guess it's too light that that light doesn't show anymore because of sunlight. But man, I hope that's working. We'll drop that hand line um, during the next drop. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. So that's why. Okay, so it was never on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is it five feet in there or deeper? Over there, it's there's about nine or ten. Oh, nine or ten. Okay. Yeah. Pick this one up. Okay, hold this.
Okay, I'm gonna go right over, okay. right, right over you. Okay. So here we go. I see the pot. Okay, stop. Neutral. Neutral. Oh. oh. Yep, we got it. Good pull. Oh, okay. Rest are right here. Rest are right there. Rest are right there. Okay, I got it. Okay, we're gonna go swing this way. Oh. Woo! Is this crazy or is this crazy? We got one, possibly three, kind of four. This is definitely a good one. Yeah. Hiya, buddy. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, check that one, eight, right, did I say eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 in this one. Woo! Okay, keep keep them there. Come on. Measure. Three keepers, right? So about 19 crafts and three keepers. Good deal. Holy moly. Oh yeah, every every pot is a keeper. There is your hoop net. I see one keeper, two keeper. Oh no, that's a female. One, two, three, four, six keeper. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I want one where I can't pull up. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, this one feels well. It could be the drag. Oh man, there's some good ones in here. Oh heck yeah. There's hold on, let it drain a little bit. There's some good ones in here. Good ones right there. Woo! Buddy, I think this is a very awesome pole. Can you swing the bow this way so that way we don't sniff the fume? Okay. Crab number two. Oh, no, no, no. You can't go in there. That's a big boy's box. <laughs> One, two, holy bully. <laughs> wow, hard shell. Two, three. Oh no. Just want to measure you, buddy. I think that's number four. Nah. Come on. There's some nice ones in here that we can measure. That one might be it. Yep. Lower than I expected today. Yep. So that three or two or three? Was that two or three out of this pot, you know? I don't remember. People say grab them by the back. This is why you you grab them by the claw because they will grab on anything and everything. So we got, we're gonna put in a little bit of bait. When I came with Nathan, I think two. Two. 
two poles? I have to relook at the video. For three or two two poles. two poles. We finished by shoot. 730, 830, I can't remember. Okay folks, this might be the money pole. Oh one got out. Wow. Super amazing. Yeah, well, Look at this okay. bad boy. If you've never seen a monster crab, folks, let me show you. You gotta wait that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's my hand, all right? That's just for reference. Oh, there's a lot of meat in. The best part about this big crab is that shell is hard. That means that the meat is packed. Heck yeah. So I'm gonna weigh this guy. I know he's a He's the biggest for the day. Keep him there. So one, two, three. Number four is a keeper. Five, seven. Oh my goodness. Nine, That's good. 10 is a keeper. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there were 16 crabs in this pot. Did you pull the camera out? PK. The camera's still rolling. The other one. Uh oh. I pulled it out, yes. Okay, okay. Slowly head over there. Come on, big money. This is the uh, hoop. I got it, man. Feels kind of light. Holy moly. Holy cow! Are you kidding me? Look at all that. Okay, uh, can you pull that up, Don? Oh, jeez! Are you guys seeing this? Look at that! Woo! We got crabs, boys. Man. Is that crazy or what? This is a lot. But I don't know if they're gonna make it or not though. Two. Three. Four. Yeah. Uh. Oh, heck yeah. This is no laughing matter. That is a big crab. Wow. Oops. The, uh, oh, it's underneath there. So that way we can access the cooler. There you go. I thought that was long. Yep. They're hard. They're hard. Yep. There's a keeper, I think. That's a nice one right there. They're hard. I'll take care of it that. Go ahead and okay. work the motor. And go ahead and go to the other one. Yes, folks, as give you guys an update on the weather, as Dan was saying, no wind. Exactly. Just look at the look at the water. It's just very calm. This fog is kind of ominous. It's kind of hard to see. But you can barely see the tree line over there. That's for sure. Um, it doesn't matter though, because we got GPS. We can get our find our way around. But man, it's been a really good trip. You guys having fun? Oh, it's great. Absolutely. Great time, man. We should get our limit with our next poll, I hope. Optimistic. Yeah. This is nice. Should have brought more pots, but the boat was getting crowded. I couldn't fit in more in the back of my truck. Okay. No problem. We got plenty today. Oh, you, you want to compare to the Promar? Yeah. Yeah, next time, we'll, it has to be our next trip, though. Yeah, but I'd like to see two and two or three and three of each. Let's see which one gets more. Okay. 
the pro mod looks like a, a nice it, it looks a nice, nice setup but... where their entryway is instead yeah. of a trap door that pro mod is solid yeah. it's a well-built pot Oh, it's uh, more durable, I think, yeah. than the Danielsons. But the Danielsons, we've done, we've done it where we lift it up. Yeah, and we couldn't lift it up. Right, because it's they're about this much inside, and it's like, how do you get in there? Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we do our soak in the Columbia. These fill up the blue Promar. The mesh are kind of big, so the the little guys usually crawl out. Yeah, which is good because you yeah, don't want you don't to want deal with them. Right. Yeah. Uh, the Promar is nice with the lid. Yep. I wish a lid would open three quarters instead of a half. Yeah. Okay, now I can weigh this crab. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to guess about two and a quarter pound. Boy, That's a hard shell. Monster. He is about seven inches. That's a monster. Okay, here we go, folks. Zero ounce. We have, woo, 37.5. Eight ounce, thirty-seven point eight ounce. That, that's my new PB, two and a quarter. So what he's saying though, if that one is his, if we happen to catch any bigger, <laughs> the next one, they'll be his. No, they'll be his too. <laughs> that's it. This, his boat. His boat. <laughs> this is the biggest. That's crab. a monster. Yeah, we caught this. Was this in the? What, was it a last seal one. cage? It's the last one. The last one? So the last one, no, yeah, it's in the blue Promar trap. Yeah, so we caught this one in the blue Promar. Check. There's our update. Look at that. So I think this should be close to 24. Let's count it. We had so many crab in the boat. I mean, so many crab in the pot. Some just crawled out. I saw a couple crawl into the cooler by accident. No, he's a keeper. He looks so small compared to the bigger ones. I thought he was illegal, but he's he's right there. He's a keeper. Yep, right on the money. You can't get closer than that. Okay, folks, this was a great crabbing trip, and I have to break up the videos into two other episodes. From this trip, I'm going to do a separate crab ring video and also an underwater, well, actually, maybe two or three underwater footage. And there was just a lot going on during this trip that it, it was impossible for me to condense it all into one video. Okay, folks, so that was cool. We are done crabbing. We're going to pull up the boat and we're going to clean these crabs and cook them up. That was a cool trip. Very quick limit. I don't know. I just give them to this boiler, whoever at the okay. whoever boils It's like them. two minutes to clean. Does it? Yeah. Well, well, you're the teacher. So, oh, they kind of soft shell. That's it. Yeah. Clean. No, they're not yeah, bad. These aren't bad. Not bad. I mean, they're not super hard, but they're still good. Take what we got. And you say smack it? Oh no, just break it. Down. Oh wait, let's um, Put let's let's. First. Yeah, we gotta boil the water first. Got to get that water just super boiling as much as we can. I'm gonna go thin slice. I don't have my knife, so oh. yeah. yeah. So you're gonna go just hey, like this. Gone? Yeah. They, you, were you looking for the shrimp? Um, I don't know. I don't think so because we don't they, have room. They, what's that? We don't have room for it. Uh, don't. Uh, yeah. Oh, they don't have fresh they, shrimp. No. That's, that's fine. We have no room. Here, bring some for crackers. this guy, just go. Boom. Uh, That's it? Yep. Any kind. Yeah. This is garbage. Okay. Right. Yeah. We'll boil it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say it. In her in her car, she's got the pump, the shovel. You got your you got all your fishing gear. You got it in there in her <laughs> car. Folks, our water's boiling. We are going Let to me put back up a little. No, you're good. No, 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 no. Don't back up. You're good. You're good. We're gonna put in these crabs. There now when I put this the potatoes probably first. May take longer. No. Um the crab. We'll put in the crab. Those sausages are cooked already? No, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the crab's gonna go in first. Uh, I don't know we have enough room, but hey, here we go. Boom. Boom. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going. Recording. So that's gonna drop down the temp a little bit and we'll let it go 
until it boils and then probably about five minutes we'll put in the rest nice we uh, can save some for her <laughs> we, we can That's save some for her She's halfway to the bridge. Oh, that's yeah. where most of the sand shrimp is. No, <laughs> she's digging deep. Sand shrimp? <laughs> when I need a sand shrimp, I can never find them, man. Yeah. I could dig for three hours, I get two if I'm lucky. Okay, Dan. I'm gonna hold one for her. This one's for you. This first one's you. Age before beauty? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that at all. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Asparagus. Potatoes. I should have brought some garlic. Having fun out here. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Please be here. Mmm. Yeah. That's the best way. Freshly cooked crab. Is that the seasoning or the sausage is spicy? Mm. Hey, works for me. I should have asked you guys if you like spicy food. Oh, it's good. I love spicy food. Uh huh. What did you do? Just go out and play sports or just go out and do things? That and there was a BMX track at Austin Stadium. Uh -huh. I used to go there a lot. Um, I go to Animal City Comics, buy comics, and arcade. Oh man, VRC, Valley River Center. So you grew up in Eugene? Springfield. Springfield. Yeah, I rode my bike everywhere. You know, when I was older and whenever I didn't get the grades my dad wanted <laughs> and my car was put in the garage, mm -hmm. I hitchhiked everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Lays around the system. Now this is this is in the mid sixties. Yeah. The mid sixties. Before you day. guys were born. <laughs> Nowadays you people can't even hitchhike, you know. Yeah. Boy, this is delicious crap. Mm. Oh look at that. Delicacy. <laughs> oh. Picture of it. Hmm. <laughs> So how long have you lived in Depot Bay? About three years. Three years? Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can adopt me. <laughs> I'll come in right here. Wait a second here. I'm easy to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give her any ideas. <laughs> Living down here would be awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's my goal too. Okay folks, so that's about it for the show. This is running too long. But I want to thank Tan Dan and Pena for coming out to crab with me. It was a lot of fun. We caught a lot of big crabs and the best thing of all was that we caught it really quick. We got three limits by about 930 which is phenomenal especially during this time of year you know because crabbing season hasn't even started yet and it's already really good. And I will put links to the gear in the video description. So check that out if you're interested. And once again, if you want to rent crabbing boats to catch these crabs, I will put a link to the Port of Alsea in the description. Thanks for watching, folks. Have fun fishing, stay safe, and tight lines.